What's going on hybrid shooters? It's Jason. Today I want to be talking about these two backpacks right here, the Think Tank Trifecta 10 and the newly released Peak Design Everyday Backpack. And I've been wanting to do a backpack review for a while now, so I figured I might as well do a comparison between two of my favorite backpacks. So right off the bat, both of these are extremely, extremely comfortable. So if you load in a ton of gear, it gets really heavy. The padding on the straps, they're really comfortable. They won't stretch your skin out. They feel great. And also both of these, I think, are very aesthetically pleasing. A lot of camera bags out there I see, while they are very functional, they aren't exactly all that great looking. So I think if you're looking for something that sort of function meets fashion, I think you guys should consider one of these too. These are very similar. They both have these side flap doors right here to quickly access your gear. And I think these two are great for mirrorless setups. So if you use a Panasonic GH4 or Sony a7R2S 65, 6300, any of those like uh, mirrorless setups, these are gonna be great for it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the features of each individual backpack. So we'll start off with the Think Tank Trifecta 10 first. All right, so the reason why this is called a Trifecta 10 is because it's advertised to be able to hold the Trinity setup. So if you have a full frame Canon 5D Mark IV, for example, you can put that in with the 16 to 35, 24 to 70, and 70 to 200. But personally, I think this is great for mirrorless setup, way better for mirrorless setups. But if you wanna hold the, you know, the full frame stuff, you definitely can. So this backpack has the two side doors right here, which allows you to, to access your gears really quickly, right? But what I really like about this bag is that there's this back door right here for you to put your gear stuff in. So this is great for like layout purposes. Like you can just like start putting gears in so you don't have to like put some stuff in here first and then zip it up, flip it over and put stuff here. You know, that's just, that's just too much work. So this allows you to kind of just like start piecing your gears in um, really quickly and reorganize really quickly if you have to. So I really like this a lot. Um, right here, you're gonna notice there's this back door compartment right here. It's a little tablet pocket for you to put a tablet in. So if you're somebody who likes to edit their photos on a go on an iPad or a, a Windows tablet or something, you definitely can put it in here. Uh, personally, I like to put like important personal documentations, like my passport if I'm traveling, or if I'm on a shoot or something, I can leave my cell phone and my wallet in here, you know, stuff that I don't exactly need on hand right away, but store away securely from everything else. So here on one of the flaps, um, there's these little accessory pockets. Um, you can put whatever you want. Um, these, I think these are kind of made for like SD cards. So if you want to put like um, some spare SD cards in here, just leave it in the back. You can totally do it. So there's a top pouch right here just for you to like stow away things. Um, personally, uh, I would like to leave my camera and lens setup on the bottom right here. This top compartment, I would like leave batteries, chargers, audio, Zoom H1, uh, Rode microphone, anything that I don't mind getting scuffed up they can be inside here and they have like these little separations for you to like, I don't know, separate your batteries or something. And they also included this think tank um, rain protection thing. So this is cool. You can actually take this out and it's like a little raincoat for your backpack. It's a nice snug fit on the backpack, which you will see. Personally, I think this kind of takes up too much space when you like leave it in your backpack. But when you're caught in a pinch in the rain, this is definitely gonna be helpful to protect your backpack and your gear. And last but not least, there's this little front pouch right here. I personally like to leave maybe cables or um, a schedule, like wedding schedule or um, a script of some sort. So that way, when, it, when I have it on my back, I can easily just like grab it and take a look at the schedule or the script or something and then leave it back in. So this is a quick access to like quick things. I got the Trifecta 10 this time last year. I was looking for a very sleek design backpack for my Japan trip. So this one mainly won me over because over here where you would put the uh, 70 to 200, I was able to fit my uh, pistol grip 
gimbal in here at the time I had the Beholder DS1. So if you remove this flap, you can you can fit that gimbal here really nicely. And you can actually fit the G-Unit crane here as well um, if you break it down. But nowadays I use it for smaller scale production. So if you watch my earlier YouTube videos, uh, I've been use, I use this bag a lot. So I can fit an A7R2 with a 24 to 70, A6300 with the kit length and the Atomos Ninja 2 and all the accessories that kind of go along that powers and connects with all that stuff. They all fit in here. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. This is the 20 liter version. And it's very similar to the Trifecta 10 where it has the two side flap doors right here for ease of uh, access to your equipment. But one of the things that I still haven't gotten used to is that this one doesn't have a big uh, back door in the back right here like the Trifecta 10. So it's kind of hard for me to organize things. Um, but this backpack is super customizable. As you can see, you can just really push the dividers here and there, close this flap, close this flap, and um, just really just like make it work to your needs on how you wanna store your camera gears in here. And these side flap doors actually have little accessory pockets in here so you can maybe put your SD card, uh, ex uh, external hard drives, uh, cables, external battery chargers. So you can fit uh, tiny little things in these little pouches in the accessory pockets department. So let me go ahead and close this up and talk about the top. So right here, this latch system is something that Peak Design is super proud of. You can just easily unhinge it by just pushing it down and lifting it up and you can just, you know, put some stuff on the top in here. So what I like to do is put all my lenses uh, on the bottom right here and put a, a ready to go camera setup on the top right here so I can just easily grab it and start shooting. Here, they also have a little secret compartment where you can put stuff. What do I have in here? Business card and uh, earplugs, <laughs> but you can put like um, maybe driver's license or whatever it is in here. All right, so the top part right here has three dividers. This pouch, this top pouch right here allows you to, to put um, cell phones, sunglasses, um, things away from maybe the tablet in here and the 15 inch laptop in here. It keeps them from scratching. I'm very happy that this backpack can hold a 15 inch laptop because I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So able to carry my work wherever I go. We have the side pouches right here. So you can put a water bottle here and a tripod here. And what's great about it is that they have this strap right here for you to secure your tripod on the side so it doesn't go dangling away. But they also advertise these straps can be used as, as an external carry. So in case you wanna put a drone here or a yoga mat down here, you can use these straps to like secure them. I personally wouldn't use the external carry, but it's nice to know that it's an option for me. And these straps can be safely tucked away and doesn't, get in the way of things so pretty pretty cool turning this around you got these little belt systems here to help secure the backpack to your body and in a way kind of making the whole setup a little bit lighter i really like the uh chest sternum strap thing right here where you know you kind of clip it here and tighten it and it and it really does help whoops and it really does help it makes the backpack a lot more lighter so yeah all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the comparison portion of this video. So right off the bat, the Think Tank Trifecta 10 loses in the laptop department because it lacks a laptop compartment. So if you're somebody who edits their photos on an iPad, then great, this is gonna be a backpack for you. But I think a majority of us out there edits our photos, and especially video editors, we edit on a laptop, so it's a bummer because that's exactly what prevents this backpack from being the everyday backpack. Um, so if you're somebody who likes to bring their laptop around uh, and their gear around, then definitely consider the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the customization compartments category. So you guys might already think that the Trifecta 10 loses in this category, but I think because of its limitations in customization, it's actually a win because it's a lot more straightforward. So going back to the whole back door right here, um, I like having that to really lay out my gear. So if something doesn't work, I can easily just reorganize it to fit my need versus 
the peak design, these foldable flaps, when you kind of like put a gear in, pull a flap down or something, you kind of like, it kind of hides the gear. So when something doesn't work, you kind of have to do a whole tear down process um, just to do your layout all over again. So in a way, it's easier to restructure your layout with the Trifecta 10 versus the peak design where you would have to push and unfold the flaps down. Um, another thing that I really like about the Trifecta 10 is that the top compartment here and the bottom compartment here have a permanent separation. So whatever I put up here won't get leaked to the bottom. Versus the Peak Design, their separation is also the same as the dividers. So in case you put anything small on top here, it there's a potential where it could leak to the stuff down here. So if you have something dangerous up here that like maybe comes down to where your lenses are and scratches that, that could be an issue. I'm not saying that you know, it has happened to me, but I think it can happen. And also these flaps are kind of flimsy in my opinion. So whenever I stick a lens here, it kind of dips into other things too. And there's probably some B-roll showing you how that can potentially happen. So in the compartment and customization of things, I think the Think 10 Trifecta 10 wins in this one. Okay, so in the organization category, the peak design definitely wins in this one. You know the phrase, there's a place for everything. Well, there's literally a place for everything in this backpack, uh, thanks to its accessory pockets on the two side flaps here and also some secret compartments on the top right here. So SD cards, external battery chargers, cables, like they all will fit somewhere in these accessory pockets. Versus the Think Tank where, yes, there's this one flap right here that allows you to put SD cards and maybe slim things, but everything else will have to go to the top right here. So you kind of have to rummage through stuff if you need to find something like battery, like batteries, charger, or anything like that. You kind of have to like dig your hand in this top pouch right here, which I kind of don't like. All right, so overall, I think the Peak Design definitely live up to its name as being the everyday backpack. I have been using it every day. I've been taking it to work or taking work with me on the go. And I have a very general camera setup in here, like um, A7R2, Battis, um, a Gorillapod, mic, and all that in here. So if I need to do some any spontaneous shooting, I definitely can. The Trifecta 10, on the other hand, is more for planned shoots, like maybe a night before you know what kind of gear, <clears throat> you know what gear you're gonna be using the next day, then definitely get this one. Having that back door to lay out your stuff definitely helps a lot. So both of these can make great travel backpacks. Again, I would have to lean more to the Peak Design just because it can hold a 15 inch laptop, but I have made a trifecta work before. I, I'm comfortable offloading my footage when I get back home or at a hotel or something, when it's just, you know, impossible for me to offload on site, you know, this can definitely be a great backpack. All right, so a dumb con that I thought of for the Peak Design backpack is that, you know, since this bag is super popular amongst the photography community, chances of running into another person with the same backpack as you is pretty damn high. So there was this one time where I was still rocking the messenger backpack and I was out shooting a wedding and a photographer that we're working with also had the same messenger bag. So there were often times where he accidentally reaches into my messenger bag for something. So uh, if you wanna be a little bit more unique, Definitely go with the Trifecta 10 because I don't think a lot of people have this backpack. So there's a cliche saying that there's no perfect bag for everybody, but there will be a bag that will suit all of your needs. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of bag you're rocking and if they are better than either of these backpacks right here. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.